This is becomes Yamaha versus becomes Yamaha. One lap to go. Yeah, and they're both mid corner men. You know, they're both massive, hideous lean angle type riders. So as they go cleaving their way through Cops Corner for the final time at this wonderful historic venue in Northamptonshire, we've got the two McCams Yamahas having qualified first and second, looking as if, if unless something untoward happens, they could go one, two here, but in what order? This is vital. How much drive can Mackenzie get onto the Wellington Strait? There's He's got to get chucked in. There's a back marker there that just may hinder or unsettle O'Halloran, but he might be far enough ahead. Mackenzie's not close enough. Oh, he does decide to have a look. Oh, dear. Yeah, Halloran didn't defend either. Oh, no. And look at this. Mackenzie almost had a dip there. He goes inside. back underneath. Mackenzie oh, goes for him. And oh, down goes O'Halloran. Mackenzie touch inside. Jason goes down. And Tyler yeah. Mackenzie will take his first victory in the Bennett's British Superbike Championship. And the last turn turns into a dramatic final turn. A sheepish-looking Neil Mackenzie. A furious Jason O'Halloran. That's one very, very easy-going man. But he's not particularly easy going right now. He is riled with some Mackenzie Elliott Redding at the top three ahead of Mossy Bridewell and Irwin. We and, uh, probably haven't heard the, the last of that, you know. I think they'll be. Well, uh, you've got to say that, well, there was some, there was a gap there and the kid went for it, well, James. Yeah, the work? I don't know. I'd like to see it again. And uh, Neil McKenzie, uh, sorry, Neil, uh, that's that's his father. This is Taron Kyle McKenzie. He may have won his first ever Benners British Super Race. James, watch this. Got to be four, this is. Yeah, now, right. look. Oh. Oof. You've got to say that McKenzie sat up on the inside. You won't watch his bike. He's leaning over his seat so oh. low. Yes. Because he, he has to stay on the track. He, 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 yes. He's... He's on a bit of track that isn't track anymore at that point. He's on the inside. Well, oh, look, you can see that. Yeah, and you, you, even your old, your old pal Neil McKenzie, who could pull a fast one on track, looks a bit dismayed. And you can tell that McKenzie's wheels now are right on the edge of the tarmac and the paint. Look, well, Alan's seen him now. He knows he's there at this point, but at this point, McKenzie's kind of sitting up and doesn't have. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to. Wow. Well, drop. look at that. What an amazing super slow-mo. And Ugh. that's the drama of the final turn of the... Uh, well, we thought we, we were in that. for an exciting race, but we didn't quite want it to end that way. So Jason O'Halloran will be pointless. Uh, Taron McKenzie will take his first race win and 25 points. Yeah. But the, uh, the incident under investigation book will be investigated post-race. And a huge round of applause. This crowd is so huge that we've... The organisers have sold out of programmes altogether. And uh, Jason O'Halloran from Wollongong in New South Wales touches back to a huge, warm round of applause here at Silverstone. The winner, though, is Taron McKenzie. And Jan McKenzie there, his mum, comes and uh, checks how he is. Brilliant race, but that was, he's just a bit subduing if you're riding involved in something like that. I'm not apportioning blame at all, but if you're involved in something like that, it, then it just knocks the guilt off it a little bit. Didn't Father Neil do it to you in the very last chicane at Magnicor in a 500 GP? Yeah, but I didn't go down. Oh, didn't you go down? No, okay. and I'd had a good day anyway, so right. I kind of let him off. <laughs> well, as uh, Jason, well, Jason, when he looks back at it, he's had one heck of a day, hasn't he? It's just that he didn't reach the finishing line. Listen to the reception. I reckon he's become even more popular at that moment in time than he would have been if he won the race. Look at that. That's great. Great to see. Uh, thanks, Matt. Yeah, just wanted to give everybody an update on uh, the incident on lap 30 in the uh, first Superbike race. Rest Direction have met uh, and interviewed uh, Jason and Neil McKenzie and uh, Tara McKenzie. I'm th thinking of a Neil McKenzie and Steve Hislop back in the day. But seriously, the decision is um, a uh, long lap equivalent time penalty has been imposed on Tara McKenzie, and that is a penalty of uh, three seconds. Had that incident occurred during the race, we would have deemed it an unfair manoeuvre, contact causing a crash, and it would have been a long lap uh, penalty so as the race has concluded uh, we default to the time penalty so it's a three second time penalty on the race result for Taron and that will give Josh Elliott the win.